Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces. Pisces, hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of a Pisces between the, the well, I ain't gonna lie, ladies here, so I ain't even gonna say the 16th to the 31st, because I'll be wrong and all I know in the in the midst of the late December 2018. <laughs> As we close out December and move into January 2019, we're expanding. And that expansion requires us requires us to leave some shit behind and speak our truths in a way that we have never done before because some of this shit that we seeing right now looking real familiar. Hey boy, if this is your first time you're on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out, I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, but I definitely cuss. Thank you so much to all of my likes, shares, but thank you so much to all of my um, new subscribers, old subscribers, new subscribers, welcome to the family, really dysfunctional, we don't fight and fuss, we do that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss, okay, we love, we enlighten, we grow, we evolve, we share, all of that beautiful family shit, because that's what we are up in here, no judgment, leave the negative shit elsewhere, okay, this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of... Pisces, my Pisces, hello, my dear Pisces. Okay, between now and the 31st of December 2018. All right, so not gonna hold you a do. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. For those of you who was wondering, the $10 special is over. I will have no more $10 specials until 2019, okay, and going forward, I think I'm going to uh, incorporate some in the videos on my $10 special, so, whew, be on the lookout, y'all, if you have not got your personal reading yet, you better go ahead and do so, because January the 1st, Mocha will be officially on break, so for those of you who be loving, oh, Mocha, I'll be looking for the mid months. oh, no, I'm doing a January monthly. And I'm gonna open up every now and then. I'll make um I'll make posts in the community tab when I open up for readings in January if I feel um I feel kind of open to it. But I'm really gonna take a break. We will be making a year on this channel, January 26, 2019. I gotta say this year has been quite the rodeo, but I'm grateful. It's brought in all kind of different things in my life. But I gotta say thank you guys for being a part of this journey. Thank you guys for being a part of my soul family. Thank you for all of the support, you know, the shares, the comments, the likes, y'all. I read every comment, y'all. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you all for allowing me to share my light and my gift with you all, as well as allowing me to be a part of your journey to revolution, all right? So, y'all, we're going to keep it pushing. We ain't going to, you know, get out into them tears and shit, because you know I start crying or whatnot. So, this will be for the end of December. Today is the 22nd. I did. I waited until the full moon uh, to do the moon childs, okay? My moon babies. So, we got to rock so while the energy is truly, truly, truly fresh and pure, okay? And rock and so I'm going to give you guys a oracle message. We're doing something different. And I'm going to put oracles. Yes. Catapulting some new shit for the new year. Kind of incorporating some. I feel like things are aligning for you all, but I feel like it's not aligning the way that you expected it to. I'm not ready to shuffle your, uh, well, really, even before shuffling cards, I'm just shuffling on camera now, but even before that, I felt a very tightness in my chest as if I just can't take the shit no more. I'm over it. I just can't do it. Like, so, Spirit, please give me the messages now to the end of December for the sign of Pisces. Hmm. Harmony. Harmony. I feel like some of you all, hmm, Harmony. A lot of you all been seeing a lot of fours and twos. Y'all gonna see a lot of fours and twos during this time. I don't know what that's about, but I'm gonna get to it and dig in. For some of you all, thank you. 
some of you all during this time are really going to be in a place of loving yourself. Ironically, this card, you see the Pisces symbol here? Spirit really want to talk, okay? This card, I feel, Pisces, is more so about you really walking in your inner truth. A lot of you all, there's this harmony coming about in your world from an internal place. A lot of you all really need to protect your energy during this time as it's very sensitive. Some of you all may be dreaming of a pure white light. Some of you all may be dreaming of fish. Or some of you all may be actually finding out that someone in your energy could be pregnant or having babies. Congratulations. But I do feel harmony coming to a particular situation. But I feel more so, this is more so in an internal level. Or in an internal sense. Some of you all. You're going to be really, really connecting with birds during this time. Birds and different type of fish, but strong emphasis on the bird. Some of you all could actually be wanting to, you know that you have to come to terms with a decision. And I feel like you're trying to find that harmony within self in order to do so. Because I definitely feel like time is truly of the essence for some of you. For some of you, I feel like. You're truly, truly being patient with yourself, truly loving yourself, and truly protecting your energy from outside forces. No matter what the hell is going on, I'm just really going to live in my truth, really express my light. I'm truly going to be in harmony with myself and not be dependent on another another person to validate me, for that matter. It's that harmony. Also here in life path number six, some of you all must have a life path number six, which is about harmonizing, balancing situations. For some of you all, you could be seeing the number four. Some of you all could be the age of 40. Thank you, Spirit. Some of you all could be knocking on 40. I feel that some of you all are high priestess or high priest. But I feel like you're really, really, really feeling like you're battling against time as far as finding love or finding that connection or your divine partnership. For some of you all, <laughs> some of you all, there is some type of stability coming. And for some of you all, you're literally, you're literally just, it's something about the time, feeling like you're wasting time or you wasted time. My babies, no time is wasted time. It just gave you enough time to realize what the hell you worth, what you deserve, what fulfills you, to be honest. Some of you all, yeah, some of you all may feel like you're wasting your time. Or some of you, some of you all may really be waiting on some type of karmic cycle or some type of cycle to come to some type of harmony and balance as well as stability or some type of stable grounds. But you got to understand it starts with it starts from within. Some of you all during this time, there's a need for you to truly, truly, truly connect with your element. Some of you all may receive some type of download while looking at um, some type of like garden of like pink flowers because I keep seeing the synchronicities of these particular pink flowers and I feel that they mean something. Even that white. I feel that there is some type of purification and purity coming within the heart chakra as well. Some type of gaining of perspective around wasted time. For some of you all, you could truly be moving towards your divine path, okay? You truly have, uh, have found the harmony within yourself. You're making the harmony and you're finding the harmony within situations to truly balance things out and bring stability to situations so that you can divinely move them forward. Some of you all, there's something about the number eight, infinite, purity, divine timing, purity, infinite purity around divine timing. For some of you all, you feel that some of y'all feel like you're dealing with someone. This could be if you're a man or it could be a woman. But I feel like some of y'all feel like you're dealing with someone that many may have. Um, and I feel like it's someone who you really, it's like someone who you know is destined to be in your life. Or maybe you're destined to be in someone else's life, Pisces. But I feel like there's this energy of reflection. And there's this energy of feeling like you've wasted time because you've been on this karmic cycle or on this wheel of choosing the same spirit or attracting the same spirit just with a different face. Or maybe someone, some type of divine partnership projects, there could be someone actually also projecting their fears on you. But there's this 
sense of someone actually having the cards in their hands by projecting this or projecting fears from their past onto you. Thank you, Spirit, during this time. And some of you all, it's faded. It's infinite. For you to know that you are divinely protected, that newness is going to be coming to you, and this experience was strictly, you all were strictly used to open someone's heart chakra, or for someone to come in and open your heart chakra. Reasons and seasons that I'm hearing right now. Yeah. Okay, you guys, so literally the number four, like, some of you guys could definitely be seeing four, 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 but I definitely see the 22 being here, two being the number of balance, two, 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 balance, stability. Maybe someone is projecting fears on you that possibly that you actually hold within the surface, Pisces. I feel like someone, yeah, you're definitely going to be dealing with someone who mirrors you. Some of you all are, mirror, are dealing with a mirroring soulmate. But during this time, either you or this other person is going to be wearing a mask because I feel like, or someone could be deflecting that, deflecting. I feel like some of you all could be wearing a mask, but could be attracting people with the qualities within yourself that you're really needing to heal. Okay. That you see in those other people, yet you don't see that in yourself. Some of you all are really needing to take the mask off and see situations for what they are. Some of you guys are also needing to look in the mirror and find that beauty and speak that life back into yourself. Because I feel like you hold the key to your own happiness. But it's how you choose to see situations. And I feel like someone is juggling trying to reflect trying to reflect on i feel like some type of mirroring relationship or mirroring aspect to another individual that lies within themselves while trying to heal certain situations was to heal their heart from seeing themselves you get what i'm saying in a particular way some of y'all, it's just something about, I'm, I'm literally hearing validation, validation. Some of you are, there's a need for you to understand that you don't need anyone to validate you. Harmony, two, four, six. And I feel like these are steps. Some of you all are waiting on a message. You're going to receive some type of message. And I feel like it's going to be right in the nick of time. I feel like someone wants to send you roses. You, have, you may even receive a phone call or a mysterious phone call. Some of y'all may even be receiving phone calls like in the middle of the night. I feel like it's some type of a divine partnership. This for some of y'all, it could even be a twin flame. Or some of you all may receive a message around like tonight. The full, around the full moon energy and this could definitely be with someone wanting to renew or to heal a relationship and they're very passionate about it but I feel like some of you all are going to receive some form of a message that is going to bring you to a very to, to a very harmonious decision and I feel like it's going to be to release a soul connection or for some of you all to release that in which you've been holding in. Some of y'all during this time got a hell of a connection to fairies. Somebody really, really, really deals in the art of fairies. I mean, I don't know. And I feel like this is someone who, um, something about nature and being outside and fairies. You could definitely be a high priest. Some of you are expanding your knowledge around fairies after having some type of like fairy encounter. Some of y'all, there's definitely going to be some type of cardinal bird or some type of blue jay that comes to bring you a message or that's your confirmation to a particular answer that you were needing. Yeah. For some of you all, I feel like even with the number 10 being here, 82. For some of you all, you're wrapping up cycles and closing doors with, with people who you had soul connections with and you're healing those emotions. I feel like 
you're really reflecting, taking off the mask, and turning your pain into power. I feel like for some of you all, there's truly, truly, truly... <clears throat> some of y'all have a female. This could be a male as well. But I feel like this person has taken off the mask during this time. This person wants to come and complete a cycle with you. They want to move away from the turbulent times as well as they want to heal the connection. And this is definitely someone who you have a soul tie, soul connection with. As well as some type of past life karma as well. Some of you just really want to move away. Move, some of y'all want to move completely away from past any damn thing. During this time, you're going to be focusing on harmonizing, finding that harmony within yourself. Stabilizing your finances, okay, as well as your spirit. As well as seeing abundance in a whole new way. Some of you guys are actually finding out information that is going to bring you truth and clarity. That's going to free you from or free you from feeling like you're bonded, bond, bondaged to a person. It's about harmony and completions during this time, babies. I did pull an angel message for you, but I'm going to wait to the end, okay? So let's see. What can my Pisces expect in love? Ooh. Here. From now until the 31st of December. What can my Pisces expect in love? Some of you all, you have a so may relationship coming to the surface, okay? And I feel like this is going to come to you extremely fast, but it's going to be after you pull pull yourself emotionally emotionally out of a situation, okay? I feel that there's a need to focus on yourself and focus on finding that balance within yourself. For some of you all, there's a reconciliation with a soulmate that could be a Virgo, okay? I feel like for some of you all, you've been trying to manifest this. You actually wanted to manifest this soulmate, but I feel like Really ask the correct questions because I feel like someone's coming in and out of your life as fast as they come in. They ask going to be out just as fast. For some of you all, there's a need to truly work on yourself so that you can really expand. Expand your knowledge and expand in a creative way. I feel that there's a need. I keep hearing pain into power, pain into power. So there's this need to turn your pain into power. And truly manifest your world the way that you want it to go. For some of you all, you really want to work on a situation and put in work in a love situation that could involve a fire sign. Okay, this could be an Aries person. Okay, this could also be Leo Sag, but someone definitely wants to come in and reconcile and work on a situation with some of you all. And this could definitely be someone who moved away from you, okay, as well as it could also be someone who is... Hmm. Some of y'all are also going to be... Um, could be like saving money or putting up money or like some of y'all are actually making like silent moves some of y'all getting ready to move away from a fire sign i feel like you think this person could be pretty manipulative or maybe you want to move away from a turbulent time where maybe in the past you guys have been manipulative because maybe pisces you're really coming into your independence during this time but some of you all you could also be getting a job promotion congratulations some of you all are actually going to be moving away from someone who you were trying to manifest something with, okay? This could be a reconciliation or this could just truly be a soulmate relationship. And I feel like with this with this situation, I feel like you're very indecisive about it. I feel that there's a whole lot of passion here. But this person makes you either question yourself or you make this person question themselves. I feel like you or this other person has two decisions to make around the Ace of Cups option, okay? And I feel like this could be someone who's financially independent, okay, or someone who is very independent. Pisces, this person could feel that you're independent and that you have two options to choose from. This could be two fire signs, okay? Yeah. Pisces, I feel like you're releasing yourself from feeling stuck in a situation. You're moving forward, okay? You're no longer going to be stuck in a situation where someone gives you half-assed love, okay? I feel that you're really knowing your self-worth. I feel that you're truly, yeah, for some of you all, some of y'all are in y'all head. I feel that <laughs> either you or another person is trying to control a situation, okay, that you really want to manifest in love. 
And I feel like one person really wants to hold on to it and work on it, and another person really wants to move forward. But I do see victory being here, Pisces. I truly do. And I see it being a lot of love. I see the situation can transform, all right, into something solid, all right? Some of you all also have um, have victory moving forward with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. I feel like in the past, finances could have been an issue in a soulmate relationship. But someone's definitely getting out of their head and actually wanting to put the effort in evenly with you, Pisces. But for some of you all, you could definitely be moving away from somebody because they're indecisive as hell about which way that they want to go. And I feel that ultimately, you know your worth. But some of you all, you have um, a Sagittarius person that wants to come in. They want to hold on to the relationship. They want to renew it. They want to start over. They really want to express their love. This is somebody who could have moved away from you in the past. And maybe you were stuck on this person. Or this person is stuck on you or stuck on not knowing how to express their love. Because I feel like Pisces, this person could have actually made the gesture to come in and work on the situation with you. But you could be putting in the work with someone else, possibly an Aries person. But I definitely feel like there's a solid new beginning, something um, something new, something passionate that could be coming in from a Capricorn towards Virgo, strong emphasis on Virgo. That could also be coming in from Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or some type of new financial opportunity that allows you guys to really express your creativity and really express yourself. Some of you all are writers. You really needed to get to your writing. Some of you all are artists. I truly feel opportunities and doors of opportunities open. Pisces, there is so much blessed energy around stability during this time toward the end of uh, December. Some of you guys are possibly just keeping your feelings to yourself. You could also be really wanting to manifest a new beginning, but I feel like somebody is truly just really keeping their feelings to their self and it's keeping the situation stuck from moving forward. And I feel like there is a lot of love from that for, for this individual. This could be someone who's very intuitive or intuitively you know that you're possibly having to move away from somebody or allow someone to heal while you're healing in order to have this new this new beginning come to fruition that you want. And for some of you all, it's definitely having to do with the mother or father of your children. This could definitely have to do with an Aries person as well. This could also have to do with a business endeavor, okay? You were boss, Pisces. This time, the, 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 the moment is now. This energy is of, of Sagittarius is about momentum moving forward. It's about taking what we have taking what we have learned, expanding on it, okay? And taking taking our own philosophies around the things that we have had to hurdle over in this life and using it to inspire someone else, possibly in a creative way I'm seeing as well. But there needs to be balance in a situation, and I feel like there's a whole lot of tension. You could definitely, some of y'all are definitely dealing with fire and earth signs, okay? I feel like if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like you feel stuck in a situation and you want a new beginning, but this person could be a bit deceptive. I feel like someone definitely have two options or two paths to walk on. And this could include um, an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, as well as a Sagittarius, Aries in the building. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is in the building. For some of y'all, this has to do with reconciling with the water sign. And this could definitely be someone who you dealt with in the past. And you, I feel like you don't trust this person. And I feel like you've already... Put a lot of energy in it for some of you all in here in seven months, seven years, seven weeks, okay? This person could have also walked away from you during that time. But there's this need to either move away from the shifty dynamics as well as move away from turmoil and chaotic, some type of chaotic connection or some type of connection where someone was really afraid to open up and be vulnerable because they had this fear of being judged or not being accepted or for that matter, feeling like they're losing out on some aspect of their freedom. Somebody's looking at love as a bondage and I feel like it's, it's causing them to keep their feelings to their self because I feel like this person wants this new beginning, but they're really kind of unsure of it because they're having an issue walking away from a fear of not being stable. Hmm. Y'all come in and let me know how that resonates. I definitely see some of you guys really kind of reflecting about take, taking the damn offer all together. Like, you know, 
I've tried to put in effort. I've been patient with this person. I've been understanding with this person. But you know what? I need to put that same damn energy within to myself. I didn't know what your angel message was, but this is what I got for you guys. Gentleness. Archangel Sandoval. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So I feel like the Pisces, if you've been feeling, you know, the need to kind of question your intuition, is this right for me? I've dreamt that, you know, me and this person was going to expand and we were going to have this family. For some of you all, there is some type of harmonious situation that's going to be a catalyst, okay? All right, for some of you all, it's going to be a pregnancy, all right? For some of you all, it's going to be some type of business endeavor or some type of financial opportunity that's able to push this relationship forward if the foundation and the stability was an issue in the past, okay? But I definitely feel like some of you all are really needing to heal, okay? For some of you all, it's a healing of not being vulnerable, not trusting because of where you've been in the past, all right? But understand that there is new love coming. For some of you, it's coming through reconciliations. For some of you all, it's coming from a whole new individual. But I feel like you really can't manifest love if you're afraid of or you're, or you're charging people for crimes that they ain't even commit yet out of a place of fear. During this time, you're going to move away from that. And complete cycles in order to give you different perspectives in order to see things from a learning experience instead of um, a place of hurt. Alright, so this is what I have for you, my babies. Between now and the 31st of December, I love you very much. Merry Christmas, alright? Happy New Year to everybody. And I see you guys in 2019, baby, where we expanding it. I love y'all, my fishies. Bye, babies.